Welcome builders, my name is Andy and I'm going to show you how to build a Roman baths in Minecraft. Now you might like having a bath on your own, but in Roman times they liked to build huge buildings and have lots of baths together. I guess it was a little bit more efficient to use the fuel to make baths uh, so that everyone could join in together, but you might feel a bit weird about that in uh, 2018. That's what you get on my channel guys, you get Minecraft building and historical facts. This is a good time to hit that subscribe button. Okay, this is the fire underneath, and it's going to heat up the hot water tanks, and we've got a cold water tank as well. And if I just hack in very quickly, I'll show you underneath. This is called a brazier, and it would heat, underfloor heating, you see, to heat up this room here. And this room here, if I jump up, would be the caldarium, which is a really hot, hot room. You'd have bowls of cold water to help you cool off, but it'd be a beautiful decorated painted walls, and a big hot pool, Ugh, really boiling hot water to jump into. Tepidarium cool off a little bit here, sweat a little bit less, some more benches to lie on as well. And then you don't, often in here you get scraped with metal instruments to help you cl get cleaned or you might get oiled up as well. Frigidarium, this room, the cold, coldest room and a cold plunge pool as well. Can you imagine what that would be like after being superheated and sweating in those rooms? Communal latrines, not only did they bathe together, but they pooed together. Come on, you don't get facts like that on other channels. This is the time to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for doing it. And this would be an apoditerium, a changing room as well. <laughs> Guys, I think it's time to get this thing built. Okay, to start this build, you're going to get some blue concrete. And we're going to go a count of 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Easy peasy. And then we're going to go for a count of 34, this being number 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. And then we just match this up over here until it lines up perfectly. That should be 25 right there. We'll just check. Ooh, it's not. It's right here. Look, this is the line we want. Boom. And then we're going to go for a count of 13. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And from this side, we're going to go for a count of 7. So it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And what that should do, it should leave a gap of 13. We'll just check that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. When I say th when I say 13, I meant 14. A gap of 14, it should be right in the middle here. And next, what we want to do is just uh, add another blue level on top of this. So let's get this done nice and quick. And there we go. That is done. And now we're going to add a layer of white concrete on top. Okay, now what we do need to do now is add another eight layers, believe it or not, of white concrete on top of this. Oh, <laughs> and don't throw your concrete away either. Add another eight layers. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how tall the concrete has to be absolutely all the way round. And what happens over here is it does this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine high on the concrete in total. And it comes up like that for the gap. The gap is going to be like that. But all these bits in here need to get filled in and all the way around until it's nine high of the concrete in total. Be right back when that is done. There we go. Saved you a bit of time watching that. That is complete. And then ne next we're going to go here and here. I'll show you exactly kind of where that is. Maybe from this side, it's going to be a lot clearer. So we're going to come in by two blocks and we're going to come all the way across here like that until we get two blocks from the end like this. So this is the, the end where the, um, the, 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 the water things get heated up. Wow. Learn how to speak, Andy. It's your job. <laughs> Learn how to speak. Come 
indenting always two. So we indent two here, indent two, and then just keep on going like this. No need to count, just indent by two, one, two, one, two each time, one, two, like that. And what we'll do is eventually end up with a single block in the middle, and this just marks off the gable end of the Roman baths. So just keep on going, always two at the end, and then just one, one at the top, like that. And we're gonna do exactly the same on this side, so it'll be in by two, like that all the way to the end and missing out to and then exactly the same as the other side so be right back when that is done there we go that is complete and i also added back this bit here which got destroyed when i used world edit to cheat i mean to stack it up i mean to get ahead in the well just okay forget it right moving on we're going to add six blocks here one two three four five six same on this other gap here and what we're doing here one two three, four, five, six. In fact, the two, the two middle ones are gonna form the door so they can actually come out. We're forming the changing rooms on this bit here. This is gonna be the changing rooms. Just fill in this little gap here like that and then bring this up by two all the way round like that. Cool. Okay, uh, next we need to add some layers of concrete on and it's gonna be five layers. So five, let's do the first one together. One layer of concrete no mistakes obviously and like that so that's one layer and we need to add five in total so it's two three four five it's going to come up like that so be right back when that is complete there we go five layers of concrete on top of the blue and of course the whole width of this should be 16 in total okay uh, we're going to make a little door like that little doorway in and just seal the deal like that right to put a little bit of a roof on this as well what we're going to do is come in by two and do that and then come in by two again and do that if i show you from that side it's a lot clearer with these strong shaders in fact the sun is so strong let's just slash p time at 10 a.m maybe that's going to cast some hmm, let's go for 1400 hopefully cast some better shadows so you can see exactly what i'm doing i do love building with shaders on although when we get into the inside of this place i may take shaders off so it's super clear okay we are doing pretty well that is the changing room uh shape done what i'm going to do is uh, make a floor in the changing room and i think a nice floor would be polished and the site like that so i'm going to just bring that all the way to there and the polished and the can go all the way to the end so be right back when that is done there we go that is complete polished and is your site floor for the changing rooms okay we will furnish changing rooms and finish off this a wall in a few minutes but we're going to concentrate on this section of the build here which is they're going to be the i would call it the boiler room the room where you create all the hot water you can store the cold water as well this is where the servants would work so we need to grab some more of this blue concrete and you could use you could use different blocks from that you could actually use maybe blue terracotta would actually look quite good as well but anyway we're going to go for a count of 10 so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're going to put a block there and bring this out 13 in total so it's two sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then we're gonna go for a count of 14 in total. So this is number one here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight are gonna be doors. So there's seven and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And it should line up, it should line up right here. There's one spot off the end of the wall. And of course this gets built up. Now of course you could build your own Roman, Roman baths. And the reason for following this tutorial, or at least having a look at the tutorial and being kind of um, inspired is there are a lot of tricky places where we've tried to disguise the walls. Um, this is gonna come along here as well. This is gonna come along here. Um, disguise, what do I mean by disguise the walls? We've got lots of painted walls in a Roman baths, but we don't want the painted walls to show up from the outside. So we need to build it in quite a specific way. Okay, weirdly, uh, this wall actually is going to get repainted or redone for the inside of that room there. So we need to disguise this wall up to level five. So 
Uh, before I do that, make another wall in here. Let's just finish off the concrete on the outside. So this is one, two, three, four, five. It should be exactly the same height as this changing room here. And of course, this needs to go absolutely all the way around five high, like that. So yep, all I'm gonna do now is fill in all these bits with concrete. Uh, be right back when that is done. There we go, that is complete and I've left a little doorway again. Now, uh, as for the floor, I think I'm just gonna make the entire floor out of this uh, podzel. So I'll be right back when that is done. There we go, podzel floor in position. Now, I wanna make another kind of wall here. Hmm. This is a slightly different um, wall than I've done before. Let's just use some, I don't, just use this. This is a kind of a a room which is just used by the people working here to heat the hot water, to stoke the fires and to make all that water uh, super, super hot for all the, the people coming into the Roman baths and bathing and dipping in the pools. Nice store of clean, cold water as well. So I'm gonna make a kind of a fake wall there. So on the inside, I'm actually going to be changing parts of that wall for the inside painting. But there we go, we've got that. Now, what we want to do is make ourselves a little fireplace, kind of a fireplace. So I'm gonna use stone bricks for this. Let me grab some stone bricks and I'm gonna use um, some magma blocks for the fire. So let's try and do this properly. So first of all, let's make a little area here where you just climb up to get up on top like this. Kind of a little walkway, you come in the door here, you can come up and you can get access to the hot water tanks, which we're about to do in a few seconds. Right, let's make another wall here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think would be enough, so leaving a gap of four here like that. So seven blocks and we'll uh, add them up again like that. Okay, let's leave a little gap of three and then we're gonna go for um, yeah, another seven blocks, like so. There we go, pretty straightforward so far. Then we're gonna go for stone bricks like this. And this is gonna hold up kind of a little Roman archway kind of thing here. And I suppose we should go for some um, slabs there. But before we do that, I'm actually going to just change the floor into magma blocks. I'm not going to go all the way to the back because I've got plans for the back of that which we'll see a little bit later on. I'm just going to go for it here and light this up here. I think magma looks really good, better than coal, better than anything else burning in Minecraft. This looks really hot as if you've been stoking that fire all day to get the, the water heated up. Right, where's slabs gone? There should be some slabs around here in the inventory somewhere, Andy. Come on. Probably passed them like five times. Here we go. Little slabs here. Uh, hot, 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 hot. Uh, there we go, not bad, not bad. Right, now we're gonna build a little spot for the cold water tank, and that's just gonna look simply fill in the gaps. Like that. There we go, all gills fapped, and now we can go on to the hot water tanks. Now I did have orange wool in my inventory. I don't know whether these would have been copper tanks. I suppose they would have been. I'm going to put one copper tank there and make it kind of three by three by three copper tank like that. And then just bring that up another couple of blocks. Don't worry if this is not absolutely block perfect accurate. It doesn't need to be. There we go. Little tank of hot water. Thank you very much. And um, we'll do another one uh, simply over here as well. There we go. Hopefully that's kind of straightforward. You can see a little gap of four here, a little gap of two. Hopefully that makes it kind of straight forward to copy. Right, now for the cold water tank, and I've got some cyan terracotta for a nice big cold water tank. Really important to have lots of cold running water. Every time I make a Minecraft video and I start talking about water, I get thirsty. So this cold water tank, as you can see, is, um, let's make it four blocks high. Okay, four blocks high, four blocks wide, 
and let's see how long it is one two three four five six yeah, six blocks long in total and of course that can get filled completely with cold water there you are that is our little room there and you can imagine the pipes all going off from there to supply uh, rooms with hot or cold water over here of course just make a higgledy piggledy pile of logs loads and loads and loads cram them in i think there'd be loads and loads of logs so make a nice big pile there everyone likes to have lots of piles don't they I just sounded wrong okay there we go piles are room place um, so we've done our little hot water creating room in the cold storage room we've done the little changing rooms now it's time to turn our attention to the inside here and i think i'm just going to take off shaders to do that there we go shaders are off it looks a bit better and easier to see on the inside okay the next blocks we're going to need are yellow terracotta pillared quartz white concrete pink terracotta and chiseled sandstone so what you want to do over here is we're going to put down yellow terracotta first and then two layers of pink terracotta on top of that and then on top of the pink terracotta we're going to go for chiseled sandstone and then white concrete and then pillared quartz facing in that direction and that's going to go all the way to the end i'm just going to use a little bit of world edit rather than making another cut in the video slash slash stack 23 should take it uh, obviously not far enough 27 29 i'll just finish the last bit off by hand there we go Boom. and that goes like that so there we go we've got a really nice wall all the way there now we also want white concrete all the way along as well so let me just do that as well finish off the last few bits by hand anything i do but with world edit is doable by you if you haven't got world edit it's just going to take you a long time because you're going to be doing it by hand and i have been there and got that t-shirt i know it's not so pleasant but you know it's a nice build <clears throat> gotta work hard okay i want to make a little cut in the wall here and put in some upright um blocks here these are going to be uh, chiseled what's it called pillared quartz blocks and we want actually five of them so it's three four five like that there we go so five of them they're going to sit there and that's going to be a cold water plunge bath which we'll be building a little bit later on. Now we do want to mark out a little door. So we're gonna come into the changing rooms here. Hopefully no one's getting changed. And we're gonna count two blocks like that. And we're gonna mark in our little door like that. So we can go from the changing room here into kind of a lobby area, which has got um, it's quite a cold room. So it's kind of a cold plunging, uh, a cold plunge pool like that. Uh, and then over here is gonna be a tepidarium, a warm room, and then a caldera, cold, calderium i think a hot room right here and then through this wall here we're going to make a little hot water pool and over here is going to be the latrine or latrines the toilets so um done one wall now we need to go on and do some more okay the first room we're going to be doing is the frigidarium this is the cold room with a cold water tank people would come into the bathers would leave their clothes in here the changing room sometimes called the apoditorium apoditorium and into the frigidarium to cool off and to have a nice cold bath doesn't that sound fantastic so the ingredients you're going to need for a start are some of these prismarine blocks and we're going to go uh this is the entrance here is like this and we're going to go one two three one two three like that and then we're going to come across the way like this one two three just like that and then we're actually going to leave a gap of two for the door and have another one two three just like that and then we're going to turn the corner again and we need to proceed in this direction all the way over to our cold water tank so how many do we need hmm let's work it out from the tank i think um and come backwards from the tank so we've got that block there we've got one two three four five blocks to represent our cold water tank i'm going to add two more here and this is going to actually going to be five long so three four five so there we go. that's five wide then a gap of one like that and then two so i actually dug that out exactly the way it should be so that's the way to count it guys one two three four five then we've got a sixth one to represent the tank 
as well and then we can come around the corner here with our tank as well and bring that over to the wall just there cool we are going to need to put in another wall at the back here so we can do that right now so we just do go up here like that and that is our cold water tank now while we're doing the cold water tank we'll come back to these bits in a minute we may as well just dig down we're going to place some quartz steps in there and then we can actually just dig out this area here like that and we're going to put in a nice new floor a mosaic a roman mosaic floor first of all we need to improve our wall situation make them all this pillared quartz like that And I'm going to choose um, is it this one. No, I'm going to choose light gray glazed terracotta. Now, what I want to do is arrange these <laughs> like that. That's the one. <laughs> arrange them like that, absolutely everywhere, into little kind of these little cute circles. See what I mean? You want to get them uh, lined up. <laughs> Line up, would you? Line up the correct way. So that goes all the way across. Be right back when that is done. There we go. We get about three and a half of these uh, two by two squares to do. Right, let's continue with this. Um, what's it called? Prismarine bricks. That's the ones. All the way around like that. Just to create this frigidarium, this cold, cold room. Fairly dark as well. I guess it was lit by torches. Um, I'm going to use this uh, beautiful white glazed terracotta and again you want to just line these up like that to make that kind of shape and um, let me just show you how this would stack up slash slash stack two like that and then we can go from there to there and we'll stack this three times four times there we go so that's that floor done like that there's the door now we, we do want to put um, a very simple Going to be the door just there a simple wall around it and we've done this wall already so you should be able to see exactly how this works this just comes along here with the yellow like that and then two layers of this beautiful beautiful absolutely gorgeous pink terracotta like that and over here as well we're getting there we're getting there and then chisel sandstone um, all the way over as well. In fact, that can just go like that. Then it's a line of white concrete, I believe. Yep, line of white concrete. Just building one room at a time, one room at a time, taking our time, making sure we get it right. This block in the corner doesn't get seen, so don't worry about it. And then that just comes over. I think I've made two mistakes. Uh, so my sticker to make a, my sticker to make a right there. And then it's just simply white concrete all the way up. One, two, three, four, five. All the way up to the roof. So um, I guess I'll be right back when that is done. There we go. That is complete. Now we need to delve back, back down into this little bit. These painted walls, very important to have a nice looking pad for your bathers. A nice looking place. You can't have them bathing somewhere which looks a bit shoddy so this needs to get built up as well just do this very quickly on the video cool well that is one room done and the whole kind of most of the structure is done um, I think we'll split this into a two-part series so in the next uh, series next video next half second part <laughs> that's what I meant to say the second part we're gonna be going one two three and hacking away a little door in there this will be the tepidarium in here where you were um, starting to warm up but of a warmer room and then into the caldarium the hot room over here with the toilets right about here so that's going to be in episode two thank you so much for watching uh, this episode don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time ciao ciao on the blocks be with you